Hi. Uh, I hope that you don't expect a professional video here because you're not getting one. This is as good as it gets with me. Um, I'm going to address something that doesn't seem to be addressed on the internet in regards to this particular vehicle. And it does relate to other Ford expeditions, but I'm not sure what years. But this is a 2007. Um, Eddie Bauer with a power folding third rear seat. So on these particular uh, cars, to put the third row down, you have to press you, it's a power switch. And in order to uh, do that and get full use of the cargo space, the headrest has to be out of the way. So the Ford came up with this strap system, and bam, now you're ready to push the seat down. And when you have the front one, the second row folded down, this will fit flush and you'll have full use of cargo space. If not, it sits up. So, and then it just pops back like this. The problem is, um, the vehicle I have here, I got it used. It's a beater with 180,000 miles on it, and the um, passenger side headrest strap is, was missing. So there's no way to put this down. I mean, I tried everything. Uh, I went on the internet, looked at blogs, uh, uh, other mechanics, comments, even uh, somebody for, that went to Ford, um, and said that when you have a power folding third row seat, there is no repair for this. There's no way to get this off. There's other people on the internet that says, yes, there is, but there is not. You can't get these off. There's just no parts that are, uh, you have to cut something. Um, I went to Ford, they looked at it, the uh, 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 parts department, the guy spent a half hour help, trying to help me find this strap or anything. And he told me the only thing you could do is order the whole the whole seat so that I'm not gonna do on this car be expensive but I'm sure I could find a used one but for one strap yeah if you don't really care about aesthetics I have come up with a fix all right long intro to a quick fix ready doesn't look pretty but I'll show you what I did nothing like gorilla tape this little plastic piece goes back up in here and this falls down so basically what you start out is like you're looking at this I then took a razor blade and I cut here and then I cut here and here and lifted up the foam when I lifted the foam up there's this it's covered in duct tape now because I got it pulled down but on the sides you can see there's hard plastic this plastic goes all the way up through the top so there's no way to access the inside to see what's in here to see what kind of mechanisms used so I took a Dremel, um, a rechargeable Dremel, and I ran it this way, uh, this way, and on the bottom. Don't forget to wear uh, goggles because that hot plastic uh, really hurts, and besides hurting when it hits you, it melts and sticks to your skin. So wear goggles when you do it. So you'll make your, actually you'll make your first cut up here, and then uh, slide down and then you can bend this out of the way when I did so um, I already got my fix on here you, if you can look in the center of this this is called a I believe it's called a steel uh, a set screw collar um, the old days I think they called them a Dura collar basically it's a uh, a collar with an allen screw in it so you can tighten it down and it sticks and it'll hang on to the, uh, the, sh the little metal shaft there, which I believe is a quarter inch. This is a much bigger one. I don't just don't have another quarter inch. I bought these at uh, Harbor Freight. Never ever expected to use them. They sat around for 15 years and bam, I found a use for one. Um, anyway, back to this. That shaft, when you push down on it, here, guess what happens? The, the thing goes forward. The headrest goes forward. So I'm like, all right, well, I don't know what kind of strap Ford had in there. Um, obviously, it, the, the, the shaft protrudes this way, and the uh, strap is this way. So it, ha it would have to have some type of twisting mechanism or device or setup. Um, anyway, so simply, once I've discovered that, that you can just push that lever down and it goes down. Make sure that yours works first before you do this, because if the the mechan this whatever it is that releases it is broken, it's no use in doing this fix. 
So then, um, in addition to the steel collar bushing, uh, you could do whatever you want. I just went to Home Depot, bought these four bucks, five bucks, uh, luggage strap packs. I'll show you real fast. Yeah, it's a mess back here. I'm doing a lot of work on this car. I took this end out. I cut the, uh, the post off of it on each side. And then I took this piece right here. And uh, with toying around, I figured out you had to cut a little bit at the very top up here about into the red with a pair of scissors or a razor blade. Don't cut any further. Then I take it and with the cut it with the non cut end first the end the, the cut end is going to be facing you you slide the the strap over it and force it all the way back and then um uh, oh yeah, i'm getting ahead of myself here it's easier to put the 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 closed end loop through the bottom first and snake it up it, it comes up real easy and then force it through i then took the now you know what I look like. Um, I then took the uh, set screw collar and I pushed it up here. I put the Allen screw on the bottom. This is a nifty little tool that I got at Advanced Auto Parts. I forget who makes it, but basically it takes any bit and puts it in there. And believe it or not, this, uh, Torx bits will fit inside of an Allen screw uh, if you can't find an Allen screw to fit, work it. And this particular one's small. I just kept trying them until I found one. Um, and then I went in here like this and just tightened it up as tight as I could. Once I got that tightened up, I wanted to see how well it held up. So here you go. Watch. works right now all you're left with is uh, push and taking the I might I put the duct tape up here because you want these these flaps keep getting in the way so I just duct tape them out of the way so now since I'm really done pull this off pull this off here if I can get it off and put it on a little bit too good and you can see the plastic part that I cut away I'm just going to push that back up. I probably put a piece of duct tape over it, a little uh, bond, maybe, I don't know. And then I'm going to button it up and close it up. And then I'll decide whether, not that I really care about the aesthetics, um, uh, whether I'll have like somebody fix this or I'll use a, one of those leather pleather repair kits or just use plain old Gorilla Tape to duck, pull it up. I don't do what I did first and pull these out. They have tabs on them. They snap off real easy. Don't try pulling that out. Just go right for the cut. Again, first, uh, razor blade here, then up and up. Pull this up. Uh, Dremel. Cut it here, down and down. Pull this flap away until you can see. Now, it's in the... Uh, that's the highest position. When I first cut it, I couldn't see it, so I just cut out a little bit more up here until I could see it. And then, um, just so you put your finger in there again, I checked it before, make sure it goes down. And then, that's it. You've fixed it, and who cares what it looks like? Duct tape will even work. Nobody's gonna say anything about it. Um, then you you can do whatever you want strap wise. And you can button this off so you have a pull like on the other side, or come up with your own idea on how to fix it. But that's how you get into the back of this, and you don't have to spend a fortune. All right, I hope that video helps you, and if it does, I don't have a million videos, so I don't care if you click like or not. But feel free to comment, uh, uh, negative or positive. Besides this long, lengthy, ten-minute video. That's how you fix it. And all in all, it could take you maybe 30 minutes to do this job. Au revoir.